Alpha. Hi everyone, this is Han from Sony Malaysia. Okay, as you can see on my right hand side, I have a brand new ZV-E10 right here with me and it's which is in white color. And also the little brother, the ZV-E1. So I'm gonna do the, some comparison in terms of like the stabilization, the sound checking, and also the, uh, let's say product showcase setting of these two, and as well as the uh, one push bokeh, which is the ZV-E1 very famous of. And additionally is, uh, I was also showing you some sample photo from these two cameras as well. So, which is, I'm here today to do some de uh, demonstration. Okay, I'm going to break it down into series of video, so you can see one by one after that. Okay, before I start, what you're actually seeing right now in front of me, the view, I'm actually using the 7C right in front of me with the 24.4 G Master. So you can getting this wide view. At the same time, I'm shooting at 1.4 as well. So you get a nice background separation with this full frame sensor. And additionally, I didn't use any color setting or any picture profile. Whatever you see right there is straight from the camera. And yeah, pretty much that's it. I didn't do any picture profile. All right, so uh, on top, the sound you're hearing right now is, is the ECM-W2PT. So the, uh, the sound actually wirelessly transmit through here. And on, on top here, right here, I've actually set, it, set the ATT to 20 dB. So it helped me to reduce some ambient noise while focusing my sound, as in my spoken voice, with this setting right here. You can actually set on the uh, receiver right here with the microphone. So uh, while this is actually connected, the horseshoe of the 7C actually support digital, where this microphone also support digital at the same time. So you might hear the best possible quality from this audio right now. As you can hear, actually in the distance, there's actually a machine going around and there's some noise because I think they are cutting, cutting the grass. So yeah, the, the 20 dB is going to reduce the ambient and while focusing my voice. All right, that's the uh, sharing for these two parts. Okay, and also the uh, comparison right here. So you're gonna, I'm going to walk you through a series of different, different videos and you can see one by one from there. All right, so just stay tuned. So the next test right here, I'm going to do is the one push okay with the background separation so currently same thing both camera on auto i didn't do any do any adjustment to the camera but just by click pressing the one push bokeh button one button you can have the background to be uh, blur i mean blur or clear by pressing just one button so there's no other stabilization involved with this and one push bokeh is on so anything in front of camera it will focus okay cool so i'm just going to use my face as a subject and the camera is tracking right now okay so let, let me see okay so you just pay attention to my three branch at the back there. I'll start recording. I'll start recording. Okay. So with the ZV-E10, I'm going to press the one push pocket button on the top right corner here. Okay, I press it. Now my side is top left, but yeah, on the camera, if you hold it, it's on the top right. So I press it. Okay, this is blur right now. Clear. Blur. Then clear. Okay, blur and clear, you can see. All right, so right now this is blur. Okay, on the on the ZV-E1, clear, then blur, then clear. All right, so I just press blur again. All right, so right now this is in blur, and just quickly double check, I think this is in blur as well. <laughs> okay, currently both is in blur mode, both in blur mode. Okay, I go closer. So the closer I am to the camera, to have you will create more background separation uh, with this. I mean, this kind of lens usually with the kit lens, unless you have a lens that with a bigger picture uh, and also on top of the sensor size, all this and that. But anyway, if I get closer, the camera is still able to track my eyeball. No problem. It's not the same. You know, press again, clear, blur. I can see how the aperture opening up and close. Ha, huh, I should have done that just now. Okay, so this is, I uh, should be clear. Blur because the aperture closed and open and close. I can see from the front of the lens there. So right now this is clear. Uh, sorry, this is blur. Blur. They focus because the aperture opening. Same thing here. If I press this button, uh, this is clear. And then blur. 
then clear, blur, then clear. Yeah, how easy? <laughs> I should look at the aperture. So you can see how well is it in terms of the background separation. All right, so how, that's how you have one push pocket. By pressing one button, the camera able to have the background separation easily. So I'm just going to do a product showcase setting right here. You can see I'm holding the, the this is a Z battery, that's a MPPX one. This is compact battery for, like I say, the ZV one. Additionally, this is for like the Alpha camera series. Just to showcase something small and you put it in front of the camera and then it focus. But right now you can see, when I put something in the front, the camera still focus on my eyeball because currently this camera setting here always prioritize my face and eye. So it won't, yeah, it won't show anything in front. That's what the normal uh, camera would do because it's always prioritize the face and or the eye first before anything else. But that two camera I actually at the back there, I set to power showcase, I think, just to demonstrate to you. Okay, focus on the battery, no problem. Okay, come back here, back to me. Focus on the battery, back to me. Okay, I'll go further away. Focus on the battery, come back to me. Focus on the battery, come back to me. If I go closer, and go closer, okay. So now I'm going to switch around. I'm going to use the NPBX one. It's a small item, so you can see it focus very well, even though you can see the very clear text there. Same thing, NPBX one right there, okay. So currently in the camera setting, I set the in terms of the air tracking and also the responsiveness, everything to the fastest possible. So it will anything pops to the camera in the front, it will pops, it will show. You can see very fast, it focus. So how well is it in terms of speed? Okay, let's say do side by side. Okay, so this is the speed in terms of the uh, the AF tracking and responsive to the highest in both camera and this is how fast is it respond in both camera at the same time side by side simultaneously All right so you can get the idea how it actually works okay so done good thing with the red button on top, on top there so I know that the camera actually is recording which is very helpful let me pause it All right so I just noticed something just now uh, I for one thing that because they, they have a very different lens and different sensor so both of them actually having a different minimum focusing distance so next i'm going to do a test where how well the camera can get close to the uh the i mean the subject get close to the camera the closer it is to the camera it means it has a higher magnification or the camera can focus closer so it allows you to see the subject larger in the video so i'm going to do a uh, next test here just to show in terms of the close focusing distance performance so I'm just, you can see right side by side right here. I'll start recording right now. Okay. And I'm holding this small battery, the MPPX one right there with all the small words in, in it. So if I go closer, so on the ZV one right there, okay, it just start to blur it. You can't really see anything anymore. So it's somewhere around there, somewhere around there. Okay. So I'll try with the uh, ZV E10. Uh, e okay. So this is the, Okay, maybe it already tracked the, the item. So if I go closer, see how close you can get. Okay. All right, so you can get an idea how close you get. Okay, maybe I just do side by side. Of course, although these two are the different, different items, but just to show in terms of if I go very close, very close to the camera, and you can see how well it just stacks up in terms of close focusing. This is super close to camera, so it cannot focus already. So for Okay, this is about ZV1 distance. Okay, I can see from there and it start to blur out. I think somewhere around there is like a max for ZV1. Around, around, around there, it's very close, but yeah. So you can get idea. This is how close it is in terms of the minimum focusing distance. And every sensor and lens combination that has a different uh, minimum distance to focus. It's the same how our eye see. If you put your hand in front of you, you can see the hand very clearly, no problem. But as soon as you close, put too close to your eyes, your eyes cannot see anything anymore because you cannot see, you cannot focus so close to you. So the item might look uh, not sharp because you cannot see, you cannot focus too close to your, eye, to your eye. So it's the same thing. So the lens and sensor combination has a different um, minimum distance of focus. Okay, so thank you.